Hey there, come on in. Are you ready to have some fun today? Join us, let's jump in. One, two, three, let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We'll learn a lot today. We'll sing, learn, have lots of fun. There's something special for everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We'll learn a lot today. We'll sing, learn, have lots of fun. There's something special for everyone. We'll learn a lot today. Let's go! Hi, my friends. It's me, Mr. Pete. Welcome to Mr. Pete's Playhouse. Hey, I am so excited today because today we are going to the movies. Wow! <laughs> Tell me, do you like going to the movies? You do? Hmm, what's your favorite movie? Ah, yeah, I like that one too. Hey, do you want to watch a movie with me and my friends? Awesome! Let's do a little dance to get us all ready and excited for our movie. If you're ready to watch a movie, clap your hands, clap, clap. If you're ready to watch a movie, clap your hands, clap, clap. If you're ready to watch a movie, grab some popcorn and some goodies. If you're ready to watch a movie, clap your hands, clap, clap. All right. Today, we are going to watch a movie about Anansi the Spider. And Nancy is a spider who loves to play tricks on his friends in order to get what he wants. And although he may not tell the truth or cheat or steal from his friends, they always find a way to trick him right back and teach him a valuable lesson about his not so nice behavior. So we are going to see what is Nancy up to today when he tries to trick his friend Mongoose. Let's watch Nancy and Mongoose. Let's go! Anansi and Mongoose, written by Johanse Henley, animated by Shaquille Emtaj. Let me tell you a story about Anansi the Trickster. He was always jealous and filled with greed. He would reap your crops but never planted a seed. But worst of all, he was very lazy. He'd always find ways to outsmart friends. I mean, it's crazy. Not everyone fell for Anansi's tricks, like his good friend named Mongoose. And boy, was he slick. Well, one day, Anansi figured he needed help with his shop. But as lazy as he was, he knew he'd have to work hard and work non-stop. He needed someone who could pick fruits, climb trees, and do it all very fast. Then he saw Mongoose hurrying by and thought, well, it can't hurt to ask. Hey Mongoose, I would like you to walk for me. I will teach you how to pick any fruit from any tree. Mongoose replied very eagerly, sounds great, what's the rate going to be? It's simple, said Anansi very cleverly. For every five fruits you pick, one will be all yours to keep. I will pay you every day as long as you pick from sunrise until sunset. Mongoose, this is a deal that you will never regret. Well, they began picking immediately the next day, like a master to a student or a father to a son. Mangu shadowed Anansi every move, taking full advantage of this one-on-one. -on -one. Mangus learned very fast. Boy, he learned very quickly. No one ever saw it coming. But yes, Anansi was weaving his master trickery. After one week, Mangus got very skillful at picking fruits. Now Mangus was doing all the work while Anansi waited at home for him to gather the loot. Mangoes, guava, genep, sour saps, and passion fruit. Anansi could only imagine all the money he would be rolling in to tell you the truth. Come back tomorrow, man, said Anansi. It is impossible to check and count the fruits. It is dark 
so I can't see well enough. So hungry and tired, mangoose hurried along home, not seeing Anansi's clever bluff. There were five of each fruit, and Anansi had a plan. For every fifth fruit, Anansi would eat one. When the next day came, a mangoose was looking for his pick. Anansi shared the news with mangoose, and boy, he was in dismay. Mangoose went out again. This time, he counted how many fruits he picked, all while grumbling to himself. Man, Anansi think he clever? He think he slick? At the end of the day, Mangoose delivered a full bag, only to hear from Anansi, Come back tomorrow. I'm tired. Today has been a drag. Mangoose left, but this time he was very suspicious. So he snuck around the back of Anansi's house and heard Anansi shout out, Oh my, these fruits are so delicious. Well, Mangoose knew what he had to do and he had to move quick, quick, quick. So he went back into the dark and he began to pick, pick, pick. The next day, Mangoose went to Anansi. He was smiling with glee. Anansi told Mangoose, Sorry, from each fruit you picked, I only counted three. Mangoose smiled and said, It's okay, Anansi. I don't want to work for you anymore. But if you ever want good fruits, you can come see me. I have my own shop right down the road from your store. Anansi didn't understand what Mangoose was trying to say until he went out to pick some fruit and there was not one fruit left so Anansi had to pay. Up to this day, Mangoose store is doing real good bringing in the loot. As for Anansi, well, he works for Mangoose now every day picking fruit. Wheel Ben, story end. Take a pen and write your name Now when somebody calls you misfortune, it also teaches you wisdom. Wow, my friends, what an awesome movie about Anansi and Mangoose. Did you enjoy that movie as much as I did? I know you did. <laughs> hey! Let's answer some questions to see what did we learn from the movie. Why did Anansi trick Mongoose? What do you think he was trying to achieve? Great answer. What was the deal that Anansi and Mongoose made? That's right. Once Mongoose realized he was being tricked, what did he do? Good job! Tell me, if you were Mongoose, what would you have done when you found out you were being tricked? What is the main lesson that you learned from this story? Wow! All great answers. You are so smart. Thank you for sharing your answers, my friends. Anansi surely does a good job at tricking his friends, but in the end, Mongoose taught him a good lesson. It's never good to trick or cheat or steal from your friend. It's always good to treat people with love and kindness and treat them exactly how you would want to be treated. It's called the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. You guys were such a great audience today, my friends. Give yourself a round of applause for being a wonderful audience. Are you ready to sing our goodbye song? Great. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. We had so much fun today. Clap your hands, friends. If you can't wait to join us again, see you soon, friends. I'll leave you with a smile, say farewell, my friends. We'll see you again next time. We'll see you again next time. Remember.
remember to always find music in the noise to love yourself and I love you. I'll see you next time on Mr. Pete's Playhouse. Bye! Hi my friends, if you enjoyed this movie, you can purchase Anansi and Mongoose and many other Anansi stories from www.johansehenley.com. There's so many ways for you to keep up with me. You can find me on Amazon and Roku apps and also follow me on my social media pages like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And now I could sing a special happy birthday song to you with my birthday singograms. Don't forget, you can stream my songs on your favorite music streaming services like Apple Music and Spotify. And also, get your Mr. Pete merch at www.mppmerch.com. See you soon!